Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in. My name is Ethan, this here is Ben, and we're both students at South Dakota State University. With this video we're going to be talking about soil sampling for lawns and gardens. So without further ado, let's get started. The purpose of soil sampling. So the reason why you'd want a soil sample is to determine the texture of a soil, measuring the nutrient components, and identify potentially negative problems that may stunt plant growth. Who should soil sample? Um, a lot of people can soil sample, gardeners, landscapers, and especially farmers. Sampling methods. So some sampling methods that we included in this video are probes. Probes allow for a deeper sample with less soil and can be done much faster than shovel sampling but need more samples due to the size. Then you got shovels. Shovels allow for a greater sampling area, are great for sampling topsoil, but struggle at deeper depths. They're also cheaper than buying a probe. Sampling equipment. So you can choose any tool that you want, but um, regardless of the tool, you'll need a bucket to put the soil sample in prior to mixing and a paper bag for holding the soil sample when mixing is complete. How deep should you soil sample? The depth of the sample depends on what is growing or what wants to be grown in the area. For example, for existing grass, you'll want to sample zero to three inches. For new grass, zero to six inches. For gardens, zero to six. And for larger vegetation, such as trees and shrubs, zero to 12 inches. Where should you soil sample? When locating a spot to sample, try to avoid compacted areas around large vegetations, roads, paths, and buildings. Clear away grass or litter until soil is visible. Sample to desired depth. When should you soil sample? Soil samples can be taken any time during the year. If soil is frozen, too wet, or too dry, obtaining a good soil sample is difficult. Throughout the year, nutrient values in your soil may change, so if you're sampling every year, be consistent. So, take the tool of your choosing, probe or shovel, take a ruler or tape measure, measure the depth you want, here we did six inches, and mark that. Here we'll show you how to sample with a probe. Find the area you wish to sample, clear the residue off the area, push the probe down to your desired depth or a little farther if needed, pull out the sample slowly to not destroy it, and there you go, you got your soil sample. Once you've taken your sample, bring the sample over to a bucket and dump it in there and take as many more samples as needed. Once you've collected a significant sample size, use your hands or any tool of your choice to thoroughly mix the sample until there are no large clumps left. The reason for mixing is to get a nice uniform sample that represents the whole sampling area. Here we're going to show you how to use a shovel or a trowel to sample soil. So get your trowel or shovel, measure how big it is. As you can see here in the picture, it's about six inches long and that's perfect for what we're going to be doing. Now we will show you how to sample using a shovel. First, select an area to sample and remove any and all debris and residue until you can see the soil surface. Then start digging in a circular motion and make sure you go down to your desired depth. As you can see, you get a lot more soil per sample with the shovel and won't have to take as many samples as with the probe. Make sure you dig out all the loose soil down to your desired depth Mixing will be the same as with the probe shown earlier. Once the mixing is all said and done, take your soil and dump it into a container of your choosing. Bag will work just fine. What you can do with this soil is send it off to a lab, or you could use it for your own soil texture analysis. In summary, soil sampling is easy and can be done by anyone. Soil can be kept for texture analysis or sent off to the lab and it's an easy way to discover what's causing problems in your lawn and garden. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our follow-up video on soil texture analysis.